Hello and welcome to another Adpuzzle video tutorial. Last time we've looked at how to assign Adpuzzles to your students, how to track their progress and assign grades. In today's video tutorial, you're going to learn how to create student project. If for some reason you've missed previous parts of this tutorial, I will leave the link in the description. So what is a student project? Unlike normal assignment, in student project, students are actually creating Adpuzzle video clips. They have the same ability as you as a teacher to add questions, voiceovers, and notes. And as an educator, you might be wondering, why would I have my students create ad puzzle video? And there can be a couple of occasions where you actually need students to create content, create ad puzzle video with voiceovers or questions, rather than answering your ad puzzle video. Let's say, for example, you want your students to annotate a video though this will be a perfect example for using a student project because students will be able to add annotations or add notes to the video clip or let's say you want your students to reflect on a recording again beautiful example for using a student project rather than a regular ad puzzle assignment so to sum it up ad puzzle student project enables students to create ad puzzle videos, embed questions, voiceovers, and other things. So let's delve into that and see how we can make it happen in your classroom. First thing you need to do is to go to the ad puzzle home screen and click on my content. From here, click on add content. From here, we're going to select student project. The subject of my project is going to be water cycle quiz. The goal of the project is for students to create a quiz for their classmates for the topic water cycle. Finally, instructions for the students are to find a video clip and add three to five questions. Once you finish with all three fields, click Save Project. Once you've done that, the project will appear under My Content right here at the very bottom, Water Cycle Quiz. And so now we're going to assign our project in the same manner as we assign any other at puzzle video. We're going to click on this project and click assign. This screen should look familiar for you. If you've assigned video clips in the past, simply select a class which you would like to assign this project to. Once everything looks good, I'm going to click assign. Why don't we switch to students view to see what student project looks like from their end. As a student, we can see that there is a new assignment in my Adpuzzle Classic class, which is Water Cycle Quiz. I'm going to click on it, see the goal, see the instructions and the starting date. Let's click Start Project. First thing I need to do as a student is to find a video clip which I will use to embed my questions. I'm going to search for water cycle, maybe look through a couple of clips till I found a good one. Let's imagine that I like this clip and I would like to use it for my project. Let's click use for this project. Once I've done that, that puzzle will take me to our editor screen. As a teacher, this screen should look familiar to you. This is where Adpuzzle takes you for you to cut and add questions and now students have the same ability they can cut the clip they can add voiceovers they can add questions notes let's imagine that as a student i finished editing this clip i've followed the instructions and i've added three to five questions once i've done that i'm going to click finish now my clip is finished i'm going to turn in my assignment once i've turned in my assignment at puzzle will tell me that it is now waiting for a teacher to grade this project. Now let's switch back to teacher's view to see what's changed from their end. Now as a teacher, I now see that I have one project to grade. And if I click on this project, this will take me to a Mike Brown water cycle project, which I can play back, see what kind of questions, what kind of voiceovers, what kind of notes these students has added, whether or not they followed the instructions. Once I've done that, I can give them a grade. You can either give zero, give 100, or put in a custom value of, for example, 90. You can also leave a comment for the student. This is a private comment that is only visible to the student you are writing. Let's leave our comment and give the student 90 out of 100. If we go back to the student's view, we can now see that the grade has been published right here, and we can also see a private comment from my teacher, good job. As a teacher, you can now do one thing. If you click on three dots on the right of the project and save 
this to my content. And if I go to my content, you will see that water cycle now appears in my content. And it is a private ad puzzle, meaning that no one else apart from you as a teacher can see this project. But if we decide to assign this ad puzzle to our class, then it will become viewable for everybody. Today, you've learned how to use ad puzzle student project. If you didn't understand some of the parts of this tutorial, feel free to leave your questions in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Next time, we're going to have a look at how to integrate AdPuzzle with your Google Classroom. Thank you for taking your time to check out this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.